Hi fellow reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video, you might have guessed it by the intro, I'm going to talk about the organ pipe coral, or some other people call it pipe organ coral, it's the same thing. So I'm going to go into usually what I do, the basic requirements to keep, you know, the corals uh, today, of course, about the organ pipe coral. Also, I'm going to introduce you to two more frags that I got last week from Worldwide Corals, which is the Anacopora that you see up there, and then an encrusting Monty. Those I'll talk uh, in the near future, each individual one about, you know, the care requirements and all that. So let's take a deep dive into this video. Hold on. Okay, so here we are focused at the actual coral. Well, an organ pipe coral or pipe organ coral, either or, they're the same coral, uh, they're known to be a LPS. Uh, it's, but although it's actually a soft coral, um, and uh, the scientific name is uh, Tubipora musica. Now, the organ uh, pipe coral is what it's called MAT, M-A-T, polyps. And it's a member of the Tubiporidae family. Now, moving on, the location where these corals are found, well, the mother colonies are known to be found in the Red Sea, then south along the east coast of Africa, ending parallel to the uh, Madagascar's southern tip, including the lower western coast of Australia, and also including the Great Barrier Reef, plus the Marshall Islands, then continuing northwest toward the southern tip of Japan. They are then found in all waters of the Indonesian islands and extend west to the Maldivas islands, bringing us back to the Red Sea. So these corals are found uh, practically every, everywhere in the Pacific Ocean, like, you know, the, the Indonesia, the Fiji Islands, all that area, as you notice by the description that I gave you. Now, polyps look like daisy flowers, in which some think it, some think it uh, resembles green star polyp corals. Some get confused because of the small pipes found and think it's actually a stony coral, but it, it's actually a soft coral. Because when you look at it, the, I mean, what you're looking at now, it's, he's uh, fully extended. But if you were to look at it when, at night, you know, when the lights go down, there is little uh, tubes. They, they look like actually pipes that come out. And so, uh, yes, some people think it's an SPS, a stony coral, but it, it actually isn't. Now, the tubipora colonies are massive, formed of generally upright parallel tubes, as I was uh, talking about it now, connected on horizontal platforms. These tubes are actually what they call scleritis. The scleritis are fused to form the skeleton rather than being a hard calcareous skeleton like that found on stony corals. Not only does the colony grow on multi-level horizontal platforms that form a step-like growth pattern. The many thin, small, fragile tubes look like little pipes. Thus, the common name of organ pipe or pipe organ coral. Now, when it comes to the difficulty level, these corals are considered upon research. I, I checked like different websites and and different researches, and I came up that the difficulty level for this coral is easy to moderate. Things that are needed to help these corals survive. It's uh, and mainly, mainly what I found out is that it likes nutrient-rich waters. So by that, what I'm talking about is that uh, the old school of thought in reef keeping, which was quote-unquote a sterile tank, zero nitrates, zero phosphates. That doesn't hold true nowadays, including mixed reefs, and then of course the, the SPS, the acros. So on the new school of thought, when it comes you know, to this topic about uh, it likes nutrient-rich waters, uh, not only for this type of coral, but in general, 
and specifically if you plan to keep SPS and of course acros, which are the most difficult. Uh, I would say you get a, a reward of reef keeping when you're able to keep these beautiful acros as you see in, in other videos, uh, SPS uh, dominated tanks. And by that, what I mean is that your phosphates, in other words, your PO4, uh, should be kept uh, never on zero. But I would say in a mixed reef, it should be between four to 10. Uh, that's a, a target figure. When it comes to me, um, I'm checking my PO4 weekly and I'm able to have a stability of 0 0.04, which is excellent. I mean, for a mixed reef, and if I plan to keep acros, which as you notice on the intro, I'm checking out, I'm testing uh, by uh, getting a, an acropora and see what happens. So you have to have a certain amount of nutrients. Then when it comes to the nitrates, I would say uh, between two, four, uh, no higher than five, six, or eight. I know uh, that if you look at other videos, which I'm sure that all of you do, uh, there's people to have beautiful tanks and they have it at 10, 20 and all that. But what that's inviting is uh, actually algae, hair algae and, and other issues that you might have on the long run. So yes, when it says, uh, when you hear that a certain coral or in general, corals like nutrient rich waters, that's what they're talking about. They're uh, talking about a trace amount of PO4, in other words, phosphates and a trace amount of uh, the nitrates. So you uh, should, should have nitrates and phosphates, not way up there. Now, when it comes to feeding, the organ pipe coral will generally use bright light uh, because of the zooxanthellae, so it feeds from the light of the chlorophylls, in other words, the zooxanthellae. And that's considered their main food source. Although they have found out that marine snow and other fine particulate foods can be supplemented, like, of course, Vital Feast, which I, I feed this reef once a week, Reef Chili, which I feed it every so often, and of course, Reef Roids, which is what I'll be feeding today. When it comes to lighting, I found out that this coral does good on moderate light. Uh, I would say uh, not low, 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 but yeah, moderate, not high light. Remember that although it looks like an SPS coral, but it's actually a soft coral. So uh, I would say moderate light. And then when it comes to the water flow, also I found out upon research that it does like moderate flow. That's probably because the little pipes that come out and, and those little daisy flowers, as you're noticing as we speak, they, knew, they do need that water flow to penetrate in between all those uh, pipes. And of course, the N, which is the uh, polyp. Now, when it comes to water parameters, this is what I found out. When it comes to temperature, to keep this coral, it should be between 72 and I'd say 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, when it comes to the SG, I found out uh, that it does well on 1.023 up to 1.025, but as I mentioned previously on previous videos, 99.9% .9 of all of us reefers keep their reefs at 1.026. But I'm just telling you what I found, uh, the aspects that I found, but you can actually go up to 1.026. And the CA, of course, the calcium, should be kept around 400 to 450. Then moving on, the DKH, in other words, the alkalinity, I found that they do great between 8 and 11 DKH. And then finally, the mag, magnesium, I found that they do well at 1200 to 1350. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it interesting, educational, and fun. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And next to it, of course, I always say it on all the videos, there's a little bell next to it, that's the notification bell. So if you activate that, uh, every time I upload a video, which is usually weekly, you'll be the first ones to know today's Reef of Korea uploaded a video. And like I said before, uh, now the following weeks, I'll go ahead and I'll talk about the uh, Anacopora 
and then the encrusting plate. Now, before I hang up and finish the uh, video, um, I don't know, uh, possibly next Wednesday, I'll be able to have the uh, video ready and uploaded the following video. But just in case, if not, I do wish all of you out there, my followers and just my observers of my channel, a happy, great Thanksgiving family to you and all of your uh, relatives and friends, and just keep safe. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing, and until next time, bye-bye.